Lookup tables or LATs are not something new within Swimotion, we already had that available in the past. However, we have new options within the Twinmotion 2025.2 preview that's now available that will help us to really use them, especially in our ArcBiz workflow. So what happened before is that here in the effects tab, we had an option to add the LUTs. We have a new category that we can expand over here called LUTs. It's separate and we can use either a standard lookup table that comes built in with in motion or we can use our own LUTs. The problem that we had was that using some of the built-in LUTs, let's take it here to 100, could change a lot how our image looked. This one might not be too dramatic but this one over here looks completely different from the original image and when when doing ArcBiz we don't want to change that much the colors of the objects that make part of our scene the fabric colors, the wood thinned and the architectural elements color because we will like we will probably have some type of fight with our client because they want to see the real life color so we need a natural look in our image and these lookup tables as you have already seen what they do is to change the color grading or to apply a color grading to our scene and also affect the contrast let's see with a different with a different lookup table how it also affects the contrast you can see it over here it is done by some specific values that are configured within each of the lot files that you can affect right now in this new version with this intensity slider or some type of opacity slider you can understand loots lots or lookup tables as some type of filters that you can add to your images like you do on, on Instagram for example you add a, a filter and then you change the opacity so it looks to your taste and you can take some time to play with these LUTs even if you used uh, Twin Motion in the past because some of them that might look a bit strange when applied to a hundred percent like this it, it changed completely the color that this armchair had you see it here it looks much greener and it used. you see it here it looks like a, a dark orange and this could potentially cause some troubles with our clients but if you use it to an intensity of maybe 40 50 it is adding some some stylization to our image this color grading especially in the in some orange tones and in the blue zones looks much better but it's not affecting that much the color that our furniture elements have that our materials have which is very important in architectural visualization so you can take some time to explore all of them and play to find those looks that you like and you can add to your projects it's important to understand that you can do kind of make all of this manually because in twin motion we have access to this control slider to this clarity slider which is brand new you can see it here it affects a lot the image and we also have within the camera section something called the local exposure which if you enabled will be of great help to control the highlights and the shadows separately to give your image a much better contrast look and about the color grading we have the well the saturation slider over here and we also have the white balance that make your image looks warmer or makes your image look cooler and the thin to take it to a magenta tones or greenish but other than that we don't have most advanced features that could make this much uh, easier to work with and that's where LUTs are of great help other than giving us the ability especially to go to color grade our images to give a specific look to all the images that we will render within our project because we can add this exact same look with this exact same intensity to all the other cameras that we have within our project and this is very useful to have a uniform look in 
a very fast way because we don't have to manually control of the settings here but only proceed to add this specific loot and the custom options it's also very useful in those cases where you are capable to create your own loots you can do this from photoshop for example but there are also many other uh, lots that were created by other people that you can implement within your project you can for instance search lots for IPs in google and you will find many websites with other people have made available for us those loots so we can download them for free uh, for instance in the websites there are some packs some web some links to other websites that can contain lots packs that we can download this one, I like it a lot, it's for in Shutterstock, you can download it from here, and once you have the files, you can open it from this folder icon using the open option, and selecting any of these .q files that we have over here. This is the keyword, .q, the key file format that we can use to import lots to our scene, it must be .q. And we could, for example, use this wave one, and if we change the intensity, it will give us a specific look. Look, check here how the contrast is also changed, plus the color grading that's being added to our scene, and it looks actually quite nice. Look here, in an intensity of 30, maybe, our scene looks really great. We can also try with other of these lots, for instance, this magic hour one, and we have a different look depending on the scene that we're working and the lighting that we have within our scene. The look one this here, it affects a lot the contrast. Maybe if we used it, we will have to reduce the contrast that we have manually added to make it work a bit better. Here it is. But this is it, guys. You can play a lot with this until you find those settings that will be the most beneficial to what you are doing. The good thing is that you can preserve the settings and make them work for all of the images of your project. And that's all. If you want to know about other features that Twinmotion 2025.2 brings, you can see the next video.